model f of t equals a sine of bt plus c plus d is sometimes used to simulate temperature variations during the day with time t in hours, temperature f of t in degrees Celsius, and t equals zero corresponding to midnight. Assume that f of t is decreasing at midnight. If the high temperature is 10 degrees Celsius and the low temperature of negative 10 degrees Celsius occurs at 4 a.m., determine the values of a, b, c, and d in the model. One thing I'll note that is that since the high and low temperatures are equal and opposite values of one another, there is no vertical shift in our model. So our the value of d is going to be zero in this case, since um, we're not uh, we have a symmetry about uh, the the zero line uh, that goes up and down by the same amount, which is characteristic of a sine curve that has not been shifted up or down. So d equals zero as a starting point here. Um, moreover, the amplitude is going to be 10 hours. I'm um, 10 sorry 10 degrees because that is the maximum and the minimum value for this curve. Now, we can use the fact that the period is apparently uh, 24 hours, because this is a daily cycle. And we can use uh, our formula for the period being 2 pi divided by <coughs> the absolute value of b. We might as well choose a value of b that's positive here, so 2 pi over just b should be 24 hours. Notice that we were not requested to find a value of b that was positive, so we have a choice. And there's, there's going to be more than one uh, possibility. Since this is technically absolute value of b, we may as well choose the positive value of b for simplicity. So if I use the, the positive value of b, I have this. And uh, cross multiplying, ignoring all the middle terms, um, if I multiply by b and divide by 24, I find that b is equal to 2 pi divided by 24 or pi over 12. And that will give me a period of 24 hours. So as I keep recording what I found, I'll record that b is pi over 12 up here. <coughs> now let's, uh, to, to find the phase shift, we need to do some, some thinking. Because the sine curve that we've got, we know starts at 0, 0. This is uh, uh, the unshifted uh, sine curve. So without the phase shift, it would start at 0, 0 and end at 24 hours at zero again. The sine curve would have another zero after 12 hours, halfway between zero and 24. It would have its maximum at six hours and its minimum at 18 hours. And since we've got the amplitude, we would have a max of 10 degrees and a minimum of negative 10 degrees at the 18 hour mark. The curve looks a bit like this. That doesn't satisfy the conditions we had though. Midnight is supposed to correspond to the, the y-axis, uh, where t is 0. And uh, we're supposed to have a temperature that's decreasing at midnight. OK, we don't have that characteristic. This temperature is increasing. And we're supposed to have uh, the minimum temperature of 10 degrees, negative 10 degrees, occurring at 4 AM. That's supposed to be our minimum. So it would be good if our curve was, if this portion of the curve was right here, because we, we would then have the temperature decreasing at midnight, and the minimum would occur four hours later. So what we need to do is take this point and shift it back to the four-hour mark. So the 18-hour mark needs to go back to the four-hour mark. We can do that with a negative 14-hour phase shift. So the phase shift that will work here is a negative 14-hour phase shift. And <coughs> from there, we can take the formula for the phase shift to be negative c over b and solve for the value of c that we don't know. We remember that we do know the value of b already. That's pi over 12. So if we multiply both sides by pi over 12 and divide, uh, I'm sorry, I don't need to divide. Um, I'll have that times negative 14. That gives me the opposite of c. I can multiply by negative 1 to get rid of the, the negative signs there which gives us 14 pi over 12, or simply uh, 7 pi over 6 for the value of c in our model. So c equals 7 pi over 6. So I can write the full model by just inserting those values into the equation. I'll write that out here just in a second. So there is a model that will give uh, the appropriate behavior for our temperature fluctuation throughout the day.